Hey y'all! It's Kathy Bow. I'm your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Boy, have I got a night for y'all. Okay, I'm gonna get us up over here so I can see your comments. Give me just a moment. It's Kathy Bow. I'm your oh, independent. Oh, didn't need to have that. Okay. All right, so let me see. See who's on right quick. I'm just waiting on somebody to come on here now. Y'all don't leave me in my studio all by myself. Hey, Courtney. Thank you for joining me. It's me and you right now. Okay, now some folks are coming in. Hey, Karen. So, I'm Kathy Bohannon. I'm your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Boy, have I got a night for y'all. I've got so much stuff to share with you. I don't even really know where to start. Um, first of all, y'all know I just got back from... Oh, thank you, Karen. Welcome home. Yes, I just got back from an epic crafting retreat. Um, we We went Thursday and we came home today and... There was crafting, there was food, there was all kinds of things, all kinds of things. Um, nine of us went. We had um, one that had to cancel at the last minute. And um, on Thursday, I drove up to the Atlanta airport to pick up one of the girls who comes from Dallas. So she and I got some really fun time in, just driving down to the, uh, to the place. And... Um, then, when everybody got there, I had dinner ready, and basically, it, it was a crock pot thing. It's really, really good. Everybody loves it. Um, so, they were able to just come in and eat, which was nice, I guess, after a long day on the road. Um, and that was pretty much my meal that I cooked, because um, y'all know, I craft like the Dickens, but I don't cook so much. Um and downtown where we were, the little downtown area, it's a very small town, and there were lots of really quaint shops and just really great, um, great stuff. Let's see. Hey, Janice. Hey, Angela. Talking about our trip, Janice. And um, thank you for sharing. Y'all please do share, um, share my live, if you would, so we can get some more folks on here. So um, the little town we were in, they have like a, I call it a tea room, but I mean, guys can go there too. I mean, of course, guys can always go to a tea room, but it doesn't just feel like a girly, girly place until you go to the bathroom. Y'all, their bathroom, like I posted a video on my regular Facebook page. Y'all need to see that. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's ornate. Okay. So anyway, um, I'm, I made some notes. So I'm just making sure I tell y'all everything. Um, so I picked up my friend in Dallas, and she's actually the sister-in-law of one of my uh, friends. And we did the little downtown shops. We did the restaurants. They were, everything we did was fun. The food was great. I mean, it just couldn't have been better. So on crafting, um, we, of course, we do paper crafts. You know, I think everybody in there has done or does paper crafts. Um, one girl was doing scrapbooks like she was on fire. I mean, it's crazy. She was doing so good. Um, we all make cards. We did some 3D projects, which we're going to make one tonight. Um, one of the ladies is sewing. Another is doing clay work, which her clay, oh my gosh, I, I wish I'd brought the little thing. She brought, she made me a little kitty cat and his eyes, no, his teeth, he's got fangs. He's a sparkly blue kitty cat, and he's got fangs, and um, he they glow in the dark. Yeah, it's really cute. Um, 
so she was doing her clay things and she's actually going to indie jam which is a um it's a clay thing in indiana and i think it's indiana then another friend was making ornaments um it's a styrofoam type ball i i guess it's a type of styrofoam anyway and she's folding fabric and pinning it on and it's absolutely beautiful she's been making those for a while um then we were knitting and we were crocheting and i mean it was just constant makers gonna make you know and there was there was a couple of nights we just stayed up late talking you know i mean not all of us but some people went to bed some people stayed up and then other times some people other people went to bed early and some other people stayed up and go downstairs and craft the, the cottage is actually just for i mean i'm sure their family comes and stuff but it's a crafter's cottage the whole downstairs okay enough about that so I'm going to start showing you some cool stuff. Um, I'm, I'm doing an unboxing. We might be on here a little while tonight. I'm going to show you um, the gift. Well, I'll just show you right now. The gift. Oh, you can't see it. Hold on. The gift that um, we, we were given. Um, the girl who organizes this and my friend Heather and me. We had all talked about we want to do something to commemorate our crafting trips because this is our second time going and it's the same group of friends we've been together a long time and so anyway um heather made these isn't that cool it says kathy bow is probably backwards to y'all let me see if i can flip it around oh i probably can okay um there we go is that better yeah that's better Okay, so it says Kathy Bow there, and over here it says Craft Retreat 2019. So one of our friends, Vicki, she said, because we're thinking, you know, we don't want to make cups every single time. So what we're going to do, we're going to put 2020 down here. Um, we've got two trips. We've already booked one. We've got two trips in 2020, and then 2021, and then I guess, I don't know, we'll come over here maybe. I don't know, but... Yeah, we'll just keep we'll just keep decorating our turvises. Um Okay, so I'm going to flip the camera around so you guys can see what all the stuffs I got, okay? So like I said before, if y'all get drunk easy, don't be looking cuz I got to flip you around. Please hold. Uh, oh. Hi Christina. Okay. So, first of all, I don't know who's unpacked and who had. Oh, I started to pick this up. Did y'all see that? Okay, so I don't know if anybody's unpacked yet, but I'll tell y'all the truth. I got a little bit goofy, and I could not stand the clutter. I have this thing with visual chaos, so I had to just put everything in a corner over there. True story. All right, so... Christina, um, she's the one that organizes our trips. She taught this project. And this is from Rhonda Wade, R-O-N-D-A, Wade, W-A-D-E. She's like, Rhonda Wade is the rock, is a rock star. Y'all heard me say things like that. Oh, you can't hear me, Janice? Oh, hold on. Um, can you hear me now? Oh dear. Let me make sure y'all can hear me. Um, now? Hang on, y'all. Uh, you can hear me. Okay, okay. Christina can hear me. So, um, Janice, maybe go out and come back in. Check your volume. All the things. Hi, Connie. Okay, cool. Everybody can hear me. Okay. Um, Janice... I don't know. I don't know. See, I wrote down Rhonda's name because it's a long day and I might get tired and forget. Okay, so Christina um, went to the tutorial and learned on Rhonda's page how to do this. And basically what you're getting is a bag and a card. See? Isn't that cool? Now mine, of course, I had to screw up and do it wrong. And I probably will tonight too, but we'll see. And then it just kind of slides in like this. You have got your bag and your card already and okay when I went on my crafting retreat the crazy thing is y'all I left a huge piece of luggage here that had 
they're the supplies I thought I had to have in order to live a normal life. However, I also stashed a whole bunch of paper pumpkin in another bag and I ended up making these cards. This is just old paper pumpkin stuff, okay? I didn't have a lot of things, but everybody shared with me. It was so sweet. And um, there you go. So I made that card, made this one. I did carry this ink. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. Um, oh, Holly, Holly Jean Marie Sutton. Connie, is that her whole name or is that two different people? Okay, I'll have to look at hers. Um, all right. So anyway, I've got a shiny, oh, what's it called? Delicata. Delicata ink. This is the gold. There's a silver. I used that to make this, and I don't know if you can see how shiny it is, but it, trust me, it's shiny. Then here's another one, and these are just alternative projects. I didn't do it like the paper pumpkin said. Um, so that's not all I made, but that's all I have to show you right now. Okay. Um, here's my store link, my October host code right here, and that's her whole name. Okay, great, Connie. Thank you. Hi, Lucia. Love it. Thank you. Um, okay, y'all, so Rhonda Wade made that box, and, um, Connie says that Holly Jean Marie Sutton made it, too. Um, 10 points, Connie, for remembering her name, <laughs> because I would never remember all that. Okay, so now we're going to open up my little order. I've got a lot going on for y'all tonight. And now I'm telling you, it's a little order. It's not a big box. And I just needed a few things in order to live a normal life. And this came while I was on my crafting trip. It actually arrived this morning. So I came home from a crafting trip only to find more crafty goodness, right? Okay, we get the business end out first. Okay, let's see what I've got. I hope y'all can see in here. Um, let's see, I'm getting private messages going on here. Hey, Donna, I hope you got your order and you're enjoying it. Okay, so, oh, I know what this is. This is little, the little snowflakey things that go inside. Can y'all see that? I hope so. Snowflake sequins. They're going to go inside the um, snow globes. Let me make sure y'all can see this. And come on now. I'm sorry. I'm just making sure y'all can see it. My first time to see you live. Oh, Connie, I'm so happy you're here. Yeah, okay. So y'all can see those. I got two of those. And two boxes of the shaker domes. Now, my friend Janice, who is on here tonight, she was making these. Um, let me get my catalog out real quick and show you the snow globe things. And this was this was such a struggle before we were allowed to share this because these things are adorable. And I really wanted y'all to see them, but I couldn't show you until this um, catalog um, came live. Oh, Karen's comes tomorrow. And anyway, so Janice made a bunch of these and they are exquisite. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So I was really excited that mom would be here when I got home because I really needed it. Okay, so these are the little globes and we're going to make one of these on a Monday fun day, but not tonight because I haven't played with them yet. Um, the Stampin' Cut and Emboss, this is going to be, oh, this is for... All right, all right, all right. Hold on. The stamp and cut and emboss. These are the dies for. Come on, come on out. These are the dies for the snow globes. Okay. So this will be like the little stand, the little bears. Everybody's doing those bears. They're so stinking cute. The church, and this is the outline of the stand, which is really neat. This would be like the background for these trees, and uh, another little church building, and deer, and then the outside of the slow, the slow globe. <laughs> uh, let's see, Angela, love making the shaker card at your recent class. Yes, 
Um, I did too. Oh, hi, Mackenzie. You got flashlights to tear apart to make light up globes. What? Okay, Christina. Thank you. Love you too. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to get uh, Mackenzie. If you do any photos or anything like that, please send me a note. Let me know. Tag me. Do something. Okay, so we're going to be making those. I was able to order the, pur the Purple Posy ink and the Rococo Rose ink. And this happens to be a special friends set, the Christmas Rose. Um, now, y'all are not able to order this until November 1st. Hi, Mackenzie. Um, y'all can't order this till November 1st, so don't get excited. But anyway, um, the person knows who they are that this is going to, and it's only because I was not planning to order it, but demonstrators can order one. So she's a great friend and a great customer. So when you're a great customer, you might get a perk yourself. And let's see what this could be. This, I know what this is, but I'm going to let y'all see. And, bum, bum, bum. These are the Roses dies. And this big one here goes around this big guy. And it doesn't have to be just Christmas. They're, the roses can be just roses. They're, I saw some done in blue, and they are exquisite. And so many beautiful things you can make with this. Okay, so like I said, this is going to someone else. And I shouldn't really opened it, but I had to show y'all. Okay, just a minute. Let me get it closed, which is always a challenge, Stampin' Up. Why you make it like that? All right, I'll close that later. Okay, and then this is the, okay, we have some dies in this catalog that are in the Halloween section, and I was not impressed because my grandkids don't do Halloween, I don't do Halloween, and we don't have any, um, we don't have any trick-or-treaters where I live now. My house in Savannah, tons of trick-or-treaters, but here, none. But check out these ornate frames dies. It doesn't have to be Halloween, right? So I'm like, I believe I will. And I did, and I'll show them to you. These are pretty darn cute. And like I said, they can be used anywhere. They don't have to be Halloween. Come on out, come on out. There we go. All right. Ornate Frames dies. Look at these. Aren't they gorgeous? And so cute little ones like this. And I mean, I'm going to be using these like crazy. The little swirly one. Love it. I really and truly never thought about using these. I just completely overlooked them. Saw it as Halloween. I was like, I'll never use that. But then somebody, and I can't remember who, said, oh look. Um, the Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels, um, these are for my friend who only got a few, I'm trying to think who it was, um, either Angela or Sally. I'll have to check and see who got, who got less because, um, at our World Card Making Day event. All right, these are refills, Purple Posy and Rococo Rose. And look at all the paper. I've got three stacks here. Of the Whisper White Thick cardstock. I have decided to start using that for all of my card making. Um, for my personal card making. Maybe use them in classes. I'm not sure. Purple Posy and Rococo Rose cardstock. These are um, the in colors right now. And they're really pretty. And that, my friends, is my order. Yay! Wicked cool. Huh, gorgeous dies. Yes, yes. Same reasons here. Um, yes, you need those dies. Exactly. Forget the stamps. Just get the dies. Um, so, Angela, I will see you Wednesday night with a few surprises because I've got one I'm not even showing that it's not an order. It's something else and it's fabulous and you're going to love it. It's got Angela written all over it and yes. So, that's happening. All right, guys. Let me put this down. 
Okay, Ooh, that was like work. Okay, so I showed you all the bag. If you're a latecomer, uh-oh. If you're a latecomer, this is the bag. And it comes, you, you make a little card to go on it. And mine just happens to be some other company's paper because I left everything at home and I um I had to use what was there. They had a they had a bin full of free paper and free supplies and I just sat down on the floor and went through the whole bin and I found out some I found some pretty stuff that I could work with because all my pretty stuff was here. Crazy me. Alright so here's what we're gonna make tonight. Isn't this cute? It's just like that one but it's a little Christmassy one. Now I want y'all to know one thing. When you go to make this bag and card, your card needs to be landscape, not portrait. Portrait being like it opens this way. You don't want that. You want it to open this way. Now, you know, could it go the other way? Maybe, but your card's going to fall off. So, you know. Okay, so I'm going to show y'all how to make this. And hopefully I won't skewer it up because I already did mess up one. We're gonna use this paper, which looks like this on one side and this on the other. And let me grab my scoreboard. This is the Simply Scored. Now this is a 12 by 12 sheet. You want a, a, a hefty, yes, Christmas. Love the bags, thank you. Um, yeah, so you want a, a cardstock that's pretty thick, and this is a current, card stock here in um, in the holiday catalog and I will tell you y'all have seen this a hundred times because I'm really using this suite up alright so this is the let it snow specialty designer series paper it's a good weight um, you know you, you don't want to use thin paper and you don't want it too thick either because it'll crack when you go to fold it so this is like the perfect weight paper let it snow specialty designer series paper and it's fourteen dollars and fifty cents for um let's see twelve sheets you get two each of six designs all right so i will show you how to do this first thing we're going to do is is do a one inch score and the reason i turned it is because i kind of scored it a little bit with my hand just to be sure that i got uh one of these things correct okay it's it's a long story, but basically I want to fold this this color down. Come on now. I'll do that again. Okay. Come on, one inch. Come on. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. One inch. Here we go. And Christina taught this to our group, and it was so much fun making it and having somebody standing right there teaching us. It was awesome songs. Okay, I'm just going to fold this down because it's acting a little ornery right now, but you don't have to fold it down yet. I'm just trying to get this to quit acting ugly. All right, so this is one inch here. We always use Tisa Demo anytime she's retired or not. We're going to call the Stampin' Up! Police. <laughs> right? I mean, really and truly, we should always use Stampin' Up! But if you forget all the things at home, you got to use what you got to use. Okay, so I'm going to three inches. So I did one inch on one side. I'm going to score three inches here. Turn. Score three inches here. Turn and score three inches here. All right. Then I'm going to just um, go ahead and, and fold them where they need to be folded along these lines. Use my bone folder. And while I'm doing this, if y'all have not yet subscribed to my, thank you for sharing. If y'all have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. It's the same name, Kathy Bohannon, Creatively Blessed. And um, I typically, I was um, uploading a bunch of videos there. And now, I'm uh, just for the last little while, I have been doing just the um, Monday Fun Days. But... You never know what I'm going to do. So go over there, subscribe, share, do all the things. Okay, so I've just basically made, you know, all my little, all my little, um, 
folds, okay? So the first thing we're going to do on this one, there's a, there's a seam here and a seam here, or a fold, here and here. I'm just going to cut up on this line right here. What we're doing is making the flaps for the bottom of our box, okay? This is so simple. I mean, once you make one, you'll be like, oh my gosh, you know, no more running up to the drugstore for a bag for $2.99. I mean, seriously, who does that, right? We all do, um, but you're not going to have to anymore. Okay, so now we're going to fold these in like this, and I've already folded the bottom down, the top down. Okay, that's going to be our little accent piece. And I'm going to put, it's best to use double-sided tape here. This is available in the annual catalog. And yes, I'm keeping my scoreboard here because there's something else I'm about to do. Um, this is available in the annual catalog, and it is um, double-sided tape. It's very strong, and any time you're making a um, 3D paper project, um, I would recommend this for the seams, you know, so that everything will stick good and it stays together and all that stuff. All right, so here we go. One, two, oh, let me take this down first. All right, I've got to put some on that one inch top. And you definitely want to do that before you do the rest. So let me put this along here. I'm just going to go along one edge. I think that'll be enough to hold it. Because we're not going to get crazy with our boxes, right? We're not going to enter them into any sporting contests or anything like that. Here's my scary dental tool. Boom, boom, boom. And now I'm going to just peel off this little piece of tape here. Come on now. Come on. And I'm not watching the clock tonight, y'all, because if I do, I'll get all discombobulated, as Mama used to say. I do need to look that word up just in case it means something I don't want to say. But Mama used to say, I'm all discombobulated. So um, I believe it means just totally confused. Or maybe someone's head fell off. I have no idea. But anyway... So I'm trying to avoid doing this timely, timely, timely. I'm just going to make my box and go on, right? We'll make our box and go on with our lives. So one cute thing that happened at our crafting event, um, at our retreat, um, Christina, who's in, she's in charge of the event, um, you know, she books it for us and she takes care of all the arrangements and everything. Um, anyway, and we have a Facebook page that we keep abreast of the latest and the greatest. Anyway, um, she had some music on and it was absolutely delightful. It was, uh, some from the, there's a couple of things that sounded like from the 60s and, um, 70s and, I mean, we just, it was great. And just all of a sudden everybody was just kind of singing, not like, you know, but you know, just singing together. Okay, so y'all see we're getting a box, right? I guess I could have told you I was going to fold those flaps in. Well, guess what? I'm going to fold those flaps in. Okay, let's see. Um, thank y'all for sharing. Yay! Are those mittens on the paper? They are mittens on the paper. Yes, ma'am. Mittens. Now, I'm going to run some of this um, double-sided tape in here. And, um, yeah, probably should have done that first, but you know what? It's all right. You know, you know what I always say? Nobody died. Okay. Um, that's where I got that. Yes, Donna, <laughs> mama used to say discombobulated. Okay. So I'm just going to peel this up. I, I'm going to crisscross it, but the first thing I got to do, I hope y'all can see this. I kind of went at an angle here. And then I'm going to go, I had to peel it up so I can go on the other angle, okay? And this part of our box is going to hang around like a nice, obedient box. Unlike the way it's acting right now. Please hold. Got to get in there. I'll show you. Don't, don't worry. Don't be nervous. I'm going to show you. Okay. Whew. That was something, wasn't it? Okay. Let's see. I'm not going to sing any Christmas songs until November, but I'll tell you, when it's November, y'all just, just need to, to deal. 
because I love Christmas. Me and Courtney love crema. Okay, so there we go. We got our box waiting for the back. Okay, so I'm going to set that over there. Now, whew, that was something, wasn't it? Um, should I? Yes, I should. Okay, so we're going to have one inch here. Now, you see I have a, a right and a wrong pattern. So what I looked at was this. My one inch lines are going are going this way so I laid my paper down that way and chances are it's going to work out but if it doesn't then those lines are going to be going sideways but it will it will so we're going one inch there we're going to turn it we're going to go one inch here and this is a scoreboard it's called a simply scored now this is the top this is the bottom. Hey, Robin. This is the top. This is the bottom. And now, no, no, no. Hold on. Don't believe everything I say. Just some of it. This is the top, and this is one side. So we got one inch here and one inch. Oh, poop. I was supposed to cut some off. Hold on. Please hold. Please hold. Boy, that was close. I'm supposed to cut off four inches. Good heavens, y'all. Y'all just going to let me go ahead and not cut off my four inches. Fine. This would be used later for your card, but we're not, we're not making our card with it tonight. Okay. So we just took off four inches. Phew, that was close. You know what? That box would never go together, and I'd be like, well, I'm sorry, y'all. We'll try and do it next week. Okay. So this is going to be our top, and I know it's going it's, to, it's folded in the correct way. Okay. That's important. When you have a, a pattern that goes one way or the other. All right, so that's one inch. This is one inch. Now we need to do the bottom. That is gonna be three inches, okay? Right here, three inches. Then we turn it again, and guess what? One inch, uh-huh. There we go. Now I can put this little guy to bed. And look, if I was gonna make like 50 gazillion of them, I can move these little tabs to like the one inch, you know, and and say that, you know, I don't want to turn it a lot, then I could put another tab over here to the seven inch, but, you know, I didn't trust myself with that tonight. Okay, so there goes that, if y'all could see this studio, whoo, <laughs> Connie, <laughs> Connie, thank you, I'll make myself laugh too. <clears throat> Okay, I have to laugh. I have to laugh because I'll cry. Okay, so here we go. We're going to fold this down. Oh, look at look at my papers, y'all. Heavens to Murgatroyd. Oh, let me tell you this. You see, it says it's better than a box of puppies. That would be Paper Pumpkin. I love Paper Pumpkin, but if y'all bring me a box of puppies, I'm just going to be like in the floor with them, okay? But now when Paper Pumpkin comes, I get all excited, but there's no puppy breath in a pe Paper Pumpkin box. I'm just saying. And I saw a thing today um, from the main office about this little um, campaign, Better Than a Box of Puppies. And the guy says, people have asked, is there a Paper Pumpkin all about puppies? And he, he said, there's not. And I'm thinking, what is wrong with you people? Why is there not? I mean, they're puppies. Okay, so anyway. All right, so now I'm going to fold... Fold these down with my bone folder. And right there. Okay, those are my sides. This is going to be the bottom because three inches is three inches, people. All right? Now, you remember when we cut up the last one? Well, guess what? That's right. Hey, Nyoka. Better late than never, my dear friend. Better late than never. Nyoka, you've missed a bunch of stuff about a crafting retreat I just got home from, so you got to go back in and listen. Because it was the bomb diggity, and um, we're a group of friends. We've been together for a long time. When I lived in Savannah, I didn't tell you all this part. Okay, I'm just going to glue this down, and I'm going to run my mouth right here. Okay, see? That's all I'm going to do. Nothing important here. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. Or maybe, <gasps> yes, I need to do this first. Whew, that was close. All right, I'm going to put this down first. 
This is the top that's going to fold over like an inch, right? And I'll tell y'all about this. So these friends of mine, when I lived in Savannah, we started doing crafting days. And we started it, I think, maybe twice a year where we gathered for two days and it was close to home. So we, you know, we went back home in the evenings, but um, we just crafted just whatever you're working on. We had one friend that was, I would say she's elderly. Um, and she just came and worked on her address book, you know, like her, her actual paper hand, handwriting address book just so she could come and hang out. It was really sweet. Um, so, you know, whatever people are working on works. Let me think, am I doing this right? Yes. Okay. So anyway, we began doing that. Well, then we started meeting every quarter and I think that's what they're still doing, but I moved away from Savannah and I was very sad and I definitely made some very sweet friends here and I, and I lived here in this area of Georgia for 20 years. So I've definitely got some old friends and I've made some new friends and, um, but you know, I love my Savannah girls and I missed them and all this. So, um, so they kind of brought the crafting to me because it's, it's close to me. Um, it's, you know, it's not as far as Savannah, but they know that I, I drove that for a very long time for a very important reason. And, um, anyway, and I think it's so sweet that, you know, that we're getting together Every, uh, twice a year now on a um, on an actual retreat because that's just that's just awesome okay so here we come with our box um, I have put I've put double-sided tape under here folded it down I've put it down on this one inch side are you on every Monday night yes I am Connie hey Leanne um, yes Connie I'm on every night every Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and usually it's 30 minutes, but we're going long tonight because I'm full of myself. Okay, so <laughs> I put a... <laughs> okay, so I put a strip of the double-sided tape down on this one-inch side and down on this one-inch side and not on the three-inch side because it's already here and I've already put some here. See? All right. Uh-oh. Don't get... Don't even, y'all. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to fold this. Oh dear. Please hold. All right. Wait a minute. Now this is where I might royally screw it up. Okay. So, uh oh. Oh dear. Maybe I should not have pulled off all that tape. Okay. Okay. I can do this. I can do it. I can do this. All right. I'm checking my edges, getting these edges close oh, together right here. Let go. Heavens. Y'all. I like dang magnets. All right. And then this edge is a nice crisp folded edge. See? Very sticky, but it's folded and nice. Okay, so we're going to go inside here. And this is the tricky part. Um as Christina suggested in her in her presentation at at our crafting retreat, get your top lined up and I highly recommend it, doing it that way. And your double stick tape is not forgiving at all. So you just gently kind of Get it in there. Okay, okay. Don't even, don't even. See, see what it does? I've got my hand in the bag. And I'm just guiding it down so the edges meet like this. And then I'm going to make sure that this edge at the top looks a little off. But you know what? Here's the deal. It's a handmade bag, people. All right. So I don't know how that happened, but it did. It's probably, I just didn't do something right. So anyway, all right. So we got this part. Now, we want to make the part to hold your, um, thank you, Connie. And thank you for sharing. Um, you want to make the part to hold your card. Now remember, you want to make a landscape card. We're not going to make the card tonight because I know that, you know, we're going a little over time. I usually go 8 to 8.30. Um, and you know what I'm going to do tonight? Y'all, let me tell you. I'm not, do not get me wrong, I'm not an alcoholic. Alcoholic. I'm not. However, I'm going to have me a little fizzy drink on the porch. 
when this is over because I've been on task most of the day. Okay, so anyway, um, <laughs> it's a fizzy drink. It's like, um, it's like the seltzer water with a kick, okay? And it's good for a travel day, such as today. And um, anyway, so you make your landscape card normal A2 size, which is five and a half by four and a quarter. Or if you, if you, when you cut your card stock, it's actually 11 by eight and a half. Does that make sense? Let me show you. Hold on, please hold. Please hold. Swing low, sweet chariot. I don't know why I thought of that when I said please hold, but okay, here we go. Coming for to carry me home. Okay, so instead of cutting, we got 11 and a half going right here. Hey, Lainey. Nice to see ya. So we got 11 going here. We're going to cut this at five and a half. All right. Normally, we're going to no. <laughs> oh, see, there we go. All right, all right. No, normally we cut this at five and a half, and that gives us the cards that fold this way. Nope. Oh, see, I don't... yes, yes, yes. We cut it here, and then we score it, and we have two cards out of one piece of paper. All right. I shows you like this. Phew, that was close. All right. Okay, so thank you for sharing. Y'all keep sharing. Thank you, thank you. Um, so we would cut it down this way to get a regular A2 portrait fold card. All right, and then we score it, you know, right there. But we're doing landscape, so we're going this way. All right, and I know that this is eight and a half wide. It's a very standard eight and a half right here. So it's going to be a four and a quarter is halfway. So here's four, and believe it or not, that's a quarter. At least that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So we're going to cut there, all right? Now, this is an old school trimmer, and it does not have a scoring blade. But I'll show you how I'm going to do this. I'm just going to put the two edges together and pinch it here. Put these two edges together and pinch it there. And then I'm going to use my bone folder, make a crisp edge. And now we have a landscape card. And it's called A2 because that's what size the post office. You know, they can't just say a normal card. They have to have a number or something. So anyway, you want to be sure that it's landscape. To fit onto your project. Um, where's my little card? All right, hold on. Things are getting crazy. They're getting crazy. Here's one. Okay, so you want it to be able to slide in and out of the little card holder we're about to make. Okay, don't get attached to this paper. It doesn't exist. Okay. <sighs> All right. Another thing you want to do is know where your front and back is. The back of your bag is going to have, you know, edges. All right. The front of your bag does not. So this is the front. Bada bing. Okay, and what we did, I have no idea. Help, found my card. Okay, what I did over here is this right here is five and a half by two and a quarter. Okay, I'm going to show you how this is done. I'm going to show you how it's done. Five and a half. All right. We got to get the crazy little thing out again. All right, so five and a half right here. I'm getting a new trimmer, y'all. Stampin' Up's new trimmer is out. And let's see. Hot dog cut, four and a quarter. Huh. Hey, Pinky. Uh, hot dog cut, hot dog cut, four and a quarter. Okay, cool. All right, so we went, what did I say? I have no idea. Okay, five and a half by two and a quarter. All right, so I'm having to look here because it's that kind of cutter. All right, two and a quarter. Now, all we want to do is make something for our card to hang from. 
our landscape card get in there it needs to be the little hole wide enough but we're not going to go crazy we don't want to open it up over here because hello that won't work it um it came in it's wonderful i've heard it called that too how about that huh hamburger cut 5.5 how about that great tip to fold without scoring thank you okay so you want to have an edge here and an edge here. Just remember that. We're not going to go crazy. All right? So, well, I say we're not going to go crazy, but the evening is young. Anything can happen. All right, so here we go. We're going to take our um, mm -hmm, label punch. I think it's called Classic Label. And if you take your card stock, and, and I, I don't want to go through all the business on, on punches, but if you wonder why I'm doing it under here, that's the way it's done. All right? I'm not being backwards. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we're going to have a little edge over here, and I'm going to punch, and I've got it pressed all the way in, so it's not, it's not going to get wonky, it's going to be where it needs to be. Punch, all right, I'm going to slide down a little bit, you see, you see where we're going, see where we're going, this itty bitty punch is going to make quite a splash, y'all, right there, and then I do want it to kind of match. So I'm going to go just a little bit more. This is where I'm going to screw everything up. All right. Punch. And there we go. All right. Oh, look. Huh. Who knew? Okay. So you see what I'm saying? You're just going to make a little, a little slot. Okay. All right. But I've already done that in the correct color. See, we don't really match. Hello. Who wants to go there? Nobody. We want to use Coastal Cabana because everybody loves Coastal Cabana. Now the way that um, the way that Rhonda Wade, um, let's see, anything can happen after a fizzy drink. Anything may happen. The night is young, is so okay. <laughs> yes, there might be two fizzy drinks, but we try not to talk about that. Um, so, <laughs> so anyway, um, and I didn't know, y'all. Let me tell you about the fizzy drink real quick. I didn't know that it had alcohol in it. Alcohol, alcohol. Yes, alcohol. Did not know it. So, um, one morning I got up and my husband had just bought them and I got one out of the fridge and he goes, what are you doing? And I said, <laughs> I said, I'm going to have one of the fizzy drinks. And he looked at me, we've been married 42 years. I've never drank in the mornings. I mean, I don't really drink, drink anyway, but I'm just saying. And he goes, what are you talking about? What? Put that back. And I said, well, why? <laughs> Cause he's never refused me to have a, you know, drink out of the refrigerator. He goes, there's alcohol in it. And I said, what? And I looked at it and I'm like, well, isn't that special? That's just not good for 9 a.m. Okay, so we're going to glue this down and we're going to put our card in like this, right? Okay, well, here's the thing. When you go to glue it, you do not want to get crazy. If you're already crazy, there's nothing I can do about that. I'm not a doctor. I only play one on Facebook and YouTube. Okay, here we go. So what I'm going to do, and it's so funny, I told y'all the other day, all stamping up people, we always turn our paper over like, like there's a right side and a wrong side. Okay, peppermint tea. Ooh, that sounds good. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> okay, so we only want to put a strip right here. All right. And here we go. Look at me following directions. Who knew? Who knew that that was possible? Okay, and then I got my scary dental tool. Bum, bum, bum. Right here. Cha, cha, cha. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Now. Huh? See how easy it, it is to pick up? This is, this is the pickup method, okay? All right, and then it rips your skin off trying to get it off. Okay, so remember, we're going on the front part of the box. The, I mean, bag. This is the back side. You can see it's little thingy sticking out that I need to tape down a little bit better. All right, so we're going to go on the front, and I'm just going to look on the sides here as I line it up. And I just like to come down just a little bit because I didn't get nuts with my card. My card's not really long gonna go like this it's not perfect but hey you know there we go now I'm gonna press it down and remember when you're using the double-sided tape it is not forgiving once you put it on there you're committed lady committed all right so we're gonna smush it down 
And then we're going to take our little card and we're going to stick it through there. And look, you have a little sweet gift bag. Your nickname is Crazy Connie. <laughs> Go to drink when I have a migraine. It's one of the few things I can mint. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, um, okay. Peppermint tea. That would be helpful to, uh, for a migraine. Okay, so there you go. You've got this. Get you some teal little, or red. You know, you could put red um, um, paper. What do you call it? That, that uh, tissue paper. Phew, that was close. Tissue paper. Put your little red tissue paper in there. Now, I want to show you a couple of alternative things you can do. You can punch a hole here, 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 and here, and make you some little straps. You can fold it in like this. And put a hole here and hole here and tie a bow. If you want it to stay closed under the crema tree. The crema tree. Or you can put little um, holes here and here. And put little handles. Or here and here. And put little handles. However you want to do it. I mean, you know. The world is your oyster. It's your oyster. Hey, Beth. How are you? So good to see you on. Um, so this is the project, and I'll show you the others. These two guys are sharing a card, so don't get too attached. Um, when you make your card, it needs to be landscape. It needs to be four and a quarter by five and a half, but that other way that I showed you how to cut it. Here's the one. Do not get attached to the paper because it doesn't exist. And what else? Did I show you all? Yeah, I did. I showed you all the cards I made. So that's everything. What do you think, huh? Yay. Okay, so please remember, as I'm pulling my paper everywhere, this is my store, and here's my October host code. If your order is $50, if your order is under $150, order with this code here. If it's over $150, um, please let me know what your order is so that I can uh, make sure you get some perks, okay? But under $150, use this code, and here's my store, and buy all the things, and um, live happily ever after because you get an order coming in to your front door right there by the UPS man. He loves all of us so much. He really does. <laughs> so thank y'all so much for joining me. It, it was an hour tonight, but look at y'all. Everybody's awake, the sleepy babies. Y'all go to sleep and enjoy your evenings, and I'm going to that front porch for just a little bit. Can you see everything here? Postcode? Store? There we go. All right. Thanks so much for coming, and God bless y'all, and I will see y'all next Monday, 8, 8, 30, uh, what time? 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern for Monday Fun Days. Meanwhile, um, please do subscribe to my Facebook page and my um YouTube channel, which is also Kathy Bohannon Creatively Blessed. And um, let's hang out soon. All right? Toodles. Love y'all.